Happy spring, I guess. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I haven't posted in a hot sec and that is because I have been attempting to crochet a sweater. I have been devoting literally all of my free time to making a sweater. So that's kind of just the reason why I have been MIA. But I am back now with a vlog. Yay! Happy spring, everyone. It's kind of crazy how it is March already. It really snuck up on me. I feel like it was just November, but I guess everyone says that, so I'm not gonna add on to that. In this video, we are doing spring things, which is just regular things that I would usually do, but instead I am doing them in spring because it's spring. So yeah. Okay, so a little relocating. I am doing some crocheting. The grandma within me has really been living her best life for the past month. So I've been working on the sleeves of the sweater. They're gonna be lantern sleeves. You wanna see my sweater? The one that I've been working on for the past month? Okay, okay, I'll show you. This is the myth, the man, the legend. This is the sweater that I've been working on. Yeah, it's looking kind of cool. It's been taking me forever, not gonna lie. Especially this sleeve. I actually ran out of this color and I had no idea what color this was because I caught it as a gift, found this color. I mean, it's close enough. I'm one sleeve down and it's kind of a wider fit. It's been taking me forever. I doubt that I will finish this before the summer. Just as it hits 80 degrees, I'm gonna be done with it. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. This is is what it looks like and I really love it. Unfortunately, I have not been filming or recording any of this, so you will not be getting a tutorial on this from me, but I can link a video in the description that taught me how to crochet. I just watched eight minutes of the video and I learned how to do two really cool stitches. I think it's cute. I learned to do this little star stitch. It's supposed to look like little stars. Crocheting is fun. You should give it a try. Once you start, you literally cannot stop. I have been doing nothing but crocheting for the past 40 or so days, so I really recommend it. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I recently started using this new shampoo and conditioner that I have mentioned in one of my previous videos. It is this High Bar shampoo. The cool thing about it, this is uh, not sponsored by High Bar, obviously, because no one pays my silly little channel ever. So anyways, I found this cool shampoo and conditioner online. It's called High Bar. It is this sustainable, eco-friendly shampoo. The cool thing about it is that the packaging is completely recyclable. There is no plastic whatsoever. It's just two bars. One is shampoo and the other is conditioner. Some exciting news. Guess what came in today in the mail? My High Bar shampoo and conditioner that I ordered online last week just came in the mail today. I'm so excited to use them. There was absolutely no plastic involved in this. It was just a box and it's just paper. And there are no sulfates in this shampoo and conditioner, which is great. I have been looking for a shampoo without sulfates for the longest time. What this is, is just a solid shampoo and conditioner, kind of like a bar of soap. Apparently they are equal to a 16 ounce bottle of liquid shampoo and conditioner, which is so fun. When I tell you that my hair has gotten so soft in the past month since I started using it. My goodness, it's not brittle nor dry anymore. It looks pretty healthy. The only downside of High Bar is that it usually takes me about 20 minutes to wash my hair. You have to get the shampoo bar and just lather your hair in it, which kind of takes a while. It is pretty time consuming, but other than that, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to try it because it's super fun and it smells fantastic. It's like a citrusy smell. Fun fact. I have a research paper to this Friday, so that's five days from today. For the life of me, I cannot get myself to finish it. My research paper is so boring. Uh, I've cranked out about four pages. I'm just talking about the same things over and over, but rephrasing them. This whole research paper is literally just synonyms. Over here grinding through my research paper. I don't like doing research. I don't like it.
Hello, so today we are going to be doing some cooking. My sister, she just found a new recipe for some noodles that she wanted to try out. We're gonna do that. We have a whole new container of kimchi, so super excited to make those. We're going for a Bangkok chili sort of flavor, so that should be fun. Also going to chop up some vegetables. We have a nice big variety. Yeah. yeah. how all of our vegetables look so far. They're getting nice and soft and soggy. We just added some poisson sauce as well as some other spices to that and it's all coming together very nicely. We have already tasted the noodles. They have turned out amazing. Okay, so this is how the noodles turned out. They're still steaming, they're nice and hot. I think this is the prettier bowl. I would say that the noodles are definitely the MVP here. International Women's Day, we have a little slice of vegan caramel crunch cake from Whole Foods. This is what it looks like. We're gonna devour it. That's that's what's up. Technical difficulties. <laughs> So a couple of days have passed since the last clip that you just saw in this video and that is because it has not been sunny recently. I have this weird thing where I really cannot record any videos when it's not sunny outside. I just feel like my life isn't as exciting when the weather is kind of ugly. Today I spent literally the whole day just having an existential crisis and that is because i was crocheting just another day on the grind and all of a sudden i'm hit with this thought of what am i actually doing like what am i doing i literally have no clue what i'm doing with my life i just kind of started spiraling i started googling a bunch of those career quizzes where you answer a bunch of questions about your personality and they're supposed to let you know what career path you're supposed to go into that's how i spent most of my day other than looking at studios in san francisco on trulia sometimes when i get upset about the smallest things i tend to imagine what my life could be like if I was a successful lawyer or something cool like that. This might just be how to get away with murder getting into my head, you know? I've been watching quite a lot of it recently. It's been making me wonder, should I go into criminal law? I feel like that's a very unhealthy mindset for me, kind of hyping myself up and imagining my life as a law student. But then I realized that TV shows, they completely romanticize law students and I realized that I spent a whole day worrying about my future and what it will hold then I worry even more it's a very toxic cycle I try not to overthink you know ignorance it really is bliss comment below what I should do with my life whichever recommendation gets the most likes is what I will end up doing with my life one two three fuck it Hello vlog. I am back with another adventure in the shotgun seat. My sister and I, we just arrived at Starbucks. We are picking up some coffees and refreshers and then we're gonna take our little dog on a walk in the park. Our parents are painting the kitchen today, the island in the kitchen. They are doing some renovating. So we decided to go to the park so we're not in the way. That's what's going on today. Do it. 
the Starbies is acquired off to the park. Hi, hi, hello. Good news, we have officially finished our walk. We walked a solid three miles or two and a half or something like that with our dog. He's super exhausted, which is great. He hasn't been walking a whole ton of miles in the past few months because of his little surgeries. This was really great for him. He really got to go out, see what life is all about, looking at geese and sniffing grass. He was just having a great time. We stopped at the grocery store for a hot sec. I'm just waiting in the car with him. My sister just went to pick up some Oreos. Once she does that, we can go home. Also, this was the outfit of the day today, if you're wondering. This sweatshirt is a hand-me-down per usual. Somehow, I managed to make it mine. I have these pants surprisingly also my sisters shocker i wear everything that she is done with also these shoes they complete every outfit and this little necklace it is actually my zodiac sign sagittarius star constellation i found it at this local boutique downtown where I am going to end this video. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and everything within it, all of my cooking and random existential thoughts. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.